Hey, what's up guys? Steve Potts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to ask ourselves the $200 question or in some of our cases the $100 question. Is Camtasia 9 worth it? Is it worth buying Camtasia 9 for 200 bucks? And is it worth it upgrading from Camtasia 8 to Camtasia 9? Now for those of you who are considering buying Camtasia 9 and using it as a video editor. All right, I will just tell you right here, right now, Camtasia 9 is not the best video editor. Neither was Camtasia 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, doesn't matter. They're not really a video editor, okay? There are free video editors available. Camtasia 9 is a screen capture and video creation software uh, also allows you to edit okay and it does offer you quite a few cool things that you can add into your on top of your videos and yes you can edit your videos no problem so long as you know that Camtasia 9 operates at 30 frames a second and a lot of cameras out there shoot at 60 frames per second meaning Camtasia is essentially going to drop every second frame of your video so your quality of your video might not be as great as your camera is capable of actually recording it okay uh, the other thing is that um, i was under the impression that camtasia 9 was going to be able to do 4k video and i see that it's actually not although you can add custom dimensions in for your video so i haven't really fought us around with that much right but you know if you're if you've got a 4k camera you're probably going to need a little more of a beefy video editor to begin with okay so that's you guys if you're considering buying this just to edit like youtube videos and stuff like that and 1080p at 30 frames per second is cool and you want to just uh, easy use an easy to use video editor camtasia 9 is good for that and on top of that it actually offers you the capability of doing screen captures and stuff like that right that a lot of other video editors don't so um, I guess the, the real thing for those of you who are actually looking to purchase Camtasia for the first time, uh, you have to really ask yourself is what is it that you want to do with a video editor, right? Or a video creation software and what kind of videos you want to create and what kind of videos you're going to record. Is it going to be cameras, screens and stuff like that? You know, what are you doing? And then decide whether Camtasia 9 is useful for you. But stick around because I'm actually going to show you some of the things in Camtasia 9 that weren't in Camtasia 8 before, right, that you could actually use to your benefit. Now, for those of you who have Camtasia 8 and actually considering upgrading to Camtasia 9, you might actually be asking yourself why you would have to spend an additional 100 bucks to just go to a new layout, okay? And that's a valid question. I've actually asked that question to myself before I purchased and yes, I actually did purchase Camtasia 9. I was offered the software free after I actually purchased it. Doesn't matter. 100 bucks is not going to break my bank, okay? So, you know, yes, I purchased it for 100 bucks. And the reason why I purchased it for 100 bucks is because of what Camtasia 9 adds in. What it gives you more of that wasn't in Camtasia 8. And that when in Camtasia 8, I actually had to create myself or purchase elsewhere in other words spend additional money okay so that's why I upgraded and that's why to me the answer as to whether Camtasia 9 upgrade was worth it 400 bucks I would say wholeheartedly yes and no again I did not get the software for free and I am telling you that I put down my money and purchased Camtasia 9 100% yes I did and I'm going to tell you now why okay so as you know in Camtasia 8 uh, we had annotations and stuff like that and if we wanted to make anything uh, we really had to sort of work uh, on a couple of things right now they did however offer a couple of um, what was it called styles or something I can't really remember right but they did have some lower thirds in it, and it, and it you know a little bit of backgrounds and stuff like that right but let's go look at some of the things over here in the library that Camtasia actually provides you as far as graphics or images are concerned, okay? 
First of all, you get a considerable amount of um, what are called flat graphics. Okay, now look at this one over here. See buildings over here. Let's just open that up. I'm trying to click on the right thing. Okay. You will see just in buildings alone over here, for instance, if I want to put look at the park over here, let's just preview that. This is a flat graphic. Okay. Um, office over here, we'll just preview that. Nice little office building. All right, so obviously th these are not high-end graphics. These are what's called flat graphics. Okay, it's just a flat image of what you're trying to do over here. You will see that they are listed as icons. Now, there are a considerable amount of icons over here from financial media technologies. Every single one of them you click down, you will actually see they are here. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's this uh, microphone? Let's preview that one. Okay, a little microphone image. These are not spectacular and they, they're not the greatest, but they're here for you to use. And number one, you're not going to be uh, hit with a licensing problem here for using somebody else's icons. Okay, there are actually places where you can download icons and then you actually have to give attribution for using those. You're not going to have that problem here. Obviously, um, there are some music tracks that are new and compared to what you had in Camtasia 8. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put a little link up here where you guys can go and check out how to import the music from Camtasia 8 back into Camtasia 9 so you can actually have Camtasia 8 and 9 videos in your library here, okay? I just made a video on that. Now let's look over here at some more of the things. We've got motion graphics over here. Okay, here is a hexagon intro. Let's just uh, preview that one. All right, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little intro, right? Some some text, uh, you know, some um, motion over there. It's all in there for you already. Upgradable, uh, what you can say, uh, you can edit it. In other words, TechSmith, take that out, put your name in there. Okay, there are quite a few of them. When I look over here, is a lower third. Let's just preview that one. Okay. Again, uh, pretty cool, right? These actually come with uh, uh, Camtasia 9, guys. These are completely free. Um, let's just have a look at one more over here. That's a nice little intro as well. Okay, so there are cool little things that have been added in here that you would actually have had to purchase before. You'd actually have to go buy your intros and stuff like that. Uh, let's just uh, look at the motion graphics lower thirds. Um, let's look at um, this one over here. Preview that one. It's actually quite nice. I quite really much uh, appreciate this one. Uh, this could probably be speeded up a little bit more. Go let it go a little quicker. Um, let's see what this one does over here. Okay, I really like that kind of animation. It's really cool and I can really mess around with that. I mean, obviously with these things, you can um, change out the image and you can change out the text to make it personalized for you, right? Or for your business. So in my opinion, from the aspect of the actual flat graphic pack that you get with Camtasia that you can use in your videos, the new music, although not very great, I wouldn't say that the new music is really worth the purchase. You can get meta music on the internet and that for lesser money. Um, I would say that uh, the, the motion graphics that are actually introduced here, and of course now with the animated backgrounds, uh, let's look at this one, spinning counter, what's that? You know, um, some of these uh, cool graphics that were added into Camtasia here that you now get with the software, I would say if you're going from eight to nine, just to get your hands on the flat graphic pack and the motions and stuff like that, that's well worth it over there. The other aspect of this um, that uh, we weren't able to do before is color adjustment. Um, I think that we could, but I think it was only like a hue. I really don't want to mess around with that a little bit more. I do like the behaviors. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about behaviors over here, uh, let's just go with annotations over here quickly. Uh, we go to text over here, and what I'll do is I'll drop this down over here for you. 
All right, and uh, let's just uh, put here Steve. Steve Potts. Oh, what did I do? My typing is still horrific, and the reason for that is because I have got cataracts, and I am actually going for surgery here pretty soon. All right, so let's just take a behavior here. Um, let's see what that one does. What that one does. Okay, we just simply drop it on there. And so now when we play it, right, see that? See, for that ability to be able to drop text in here and actually change um, the way things behave, I would say Camtasia 9 is definitely worth it. Okay, so other than the other things, there's voice narration and stuff like that that's built into this. There are actually so many other things that have been added in here that I haven't even had an opportunity to use yet, right? I haven't even had an opportunity to mess with those things yet. Just from the basics of the graphics and the visual aspect that Camtasia allows you to change now versus what we had in Camtasia 8, I'd say for a hundred bucks, guys, it's definitely worth it. Now, for those of you who are, again, considering buying Camtasia as a video editor um, for the very first time, even though it's not the best video editor ever, it's really easy to use. You can, of course, use these same things to bring in your lower thirds for your talking videos, your talking head videos. You can, of course, um, drop titles in for things um, that you're doing. Um, you can also make your intros and stuff like that. So I would say for you, even for 200 bucks, Camtasia 9 is worth it. However, if you're looking for just a straight up video editor, again, I'll add a link to the bottom here that um, you can go look at for a free video editor. Now, the other thing here, and of course it is worth saying here, that Camtasia 9 is now a much more beefier software than Camtasia 8 was. Camtasia 8 functioned in 32-bit. Um, Camtasia 9 offers you the same, uh, Camtasia 9, I would say, um, what would be a best way? It's now gone to 64-bit, so it's an upgrade as far as being able to work better on higher end computers is that fair to say hmm uh, the downside obviously is that it doesn't work on lower end computers but then again i asked and uh, basically for the last two years they nobody's produced a 32-bit computer so 64-bit is pretty much the way to go from here on and that is obviously what's required with camtasia 9. now you do actually need more RAM and you do need a better processor and you may very well need a GPU, right? That's a video card, if you don't know. Um, so there's that. But then again, if um, you guys are on computers today and you're doing video editing and stuff like that, you're gonna need a video editor, uh, video card anyway. Okay, you really should have a video card if you're doing video editing I would say you do need a beefier computer. You do need at the very minimum an i5 processor. You do need at the very minimum eight gigabytes. Uh, although it says here that you can get away with an i3 and four gigabytes, and, but I don't know anybody that makes a computer that even has those specs anymore. So we're talking much older computers now. Okay, so there's that to consider, of course, right? I mean, some of you might actually have to upgrade your computers in order to use Camtasia 9 and for those of you who are still on very old computers, I would say it might actually be worthwhile sitting on Camtasia 8 for a little bit until such time as you do upgrade your computer and then upgrade your software then. Now it's up to you. But then again, you know, like I said, um, you know, with the added uh, graphics and abilities that we have here in Camtasia 9, for me at least, I would say that it was well worth a hundred bucks. All right, so that's uh, my little uh, spiel on whether Camtasia 9 was worth it for me. Uh, those are the reasons I used in order to purchase the software for myself, reasoning at least. And um, maybe that'll help you make your mind up if you want to upgrade or not. And for those of you who haven't got software yet considering Camtasia 9, maybe this will help you guys make up your minds as to whether this is something you want to buy. Now, if you have any questions or about features in Camtasia 9, Ask in the comment below and I'll get back to you guys over there. 
until um, next video guys uh, this is uh, Steve Potts signing out see you guys in the next one man